Hey guys, this is Aduda2 and I'm um, continuing my Gobon series. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In this episode, I want to talk about um, putting on the lines uh, with a pencil, getting your measurements, and in the next video, um, I'm going to actually apply the lines with the wood burner, and I'll show you how that looks. And then the next video, I'm going to fill in the lines with a paint marker and then we'll see how that looks. And then um, it's just a matter of touching up and we'll, uh, we'll play a game on it. I'll figure out something special to, to break it in. But, um, excuse me, as you can see, I have the go board in front of me. Um, it looks pretty good. I threw on, as I said, another, um, another layer of uh, wood stain. You can see it's still got um, some issues, but I've uh, learn to deal with it. I'm going to chalk that up as uh, I'm going to chalk that up as uh, my learning experience. Probably the best I can get without going absolutely nuts with like 30 layers of wood stain and such. Um, I've also come to the conclusion that I probably didn't do a lot of these marks. Um, as I really look at them, it looks like um, some of these marks were probably done um, in the process, uh, the furniture making process of whatever company made the. Uh, furniture. I believe it, it was Ikea, so they probably have machines that sand real quick and cut real quick and uh, I think they left these marks and then they covered the marks with uh, some type of, I guess, polish or finish or something and it covered them up, made it look real nice and once I sanded down to the bottom, this is what I got. So, um, at least I'd like to believe that I didn't make this mess, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, as you could see, I have um, Go stones. These are my single convex. I'm using them because they're wider than my double convex stones. And I figure if I can get these singles to fit, then the doubles will definitely fit. If I measure for just the doubles, then the singles will be too tight. And they'll be up on top of each other and nobody likes that. Um, slight issue I'm having is that uh, they fit. All 19 of them fit, but just barely. Now this is my short side. I made this side a little longer because um, in a regular go board it's a little longer on one side than the other and what that does is that helps uh, deal with the illusion of uh, you know the black stones and white stones where you know one color would appear bigger than the other and it would start to mess with your eyes a little bit um, and so I, I wanted to stick with that so I made um, one side a little bigger than the other um, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out uh, a way to measure so that all of these stones fit and they're not overlapping each other at least on this side and then I'm gonna take the exact same measurement and put it on this side and this side will have a little bit of a border uh, this side and this side okay um, hopefully I'm not being too confusing so there are a couple ways to do this um, there's a cheat way I'll show you right now if you have a board that's bigger uh, than average or uh, a standard size. You could take a board like this and stand it up against it and you could, now that you have your spacing, you could put a mark on each of these spacings. Right? And then you do it the same on this side and this side, right? Then you put your thing on here and put a mark and do the same. And then once you get them all lined up, uh, put a roller on it, the mark to mark, and then score it down. Um, that's one method, kind of a cheat method. Another method is um, you can print out a template. So I think I talked about in another video maybe. Um, here I have a template. I, these are incorrect for what I need, but I printed it out to show you. Um, this would give you the proper... Um, spacing for a, my single convex stones, right? And then um, you do the same, I guess it would be this way. And this would show you, and then, you, you know, there'd be more pieces here. And what you do is you put it on and you tape it, and then, uh, you know, you'd have uh, a point of reference. Maybe you'd, uh, you know, dot the center and maybe dot at the end of each of the lines with a pencil or pen or something and then draw your lines keeping it straight it's like a guide and then uh, you, you still have to eventually put your ruler on right? but because I'm having issues with the size of my board where it has to be 
I mean, it has to be just right with this because these are just barely uh, fitting on here, right? Um, let's see if I can. You can see that it's right on the edge, and it's the same both sides, right on the edge. So there's not going to be good space in between them. Uh, it'll work perfect for the single convex, right? They'll be the nice space, but these are going to be darn close to touching all of them, which I don't like, but uh, this was the size board I had, and this is what I'm going with, so we're going to use it. We're going to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find dead center of the board, and I'm going to draw, you know, make my first line dead center and my first line dead center here. And then I'm going to measure the space in between the two stones, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off that center line that much, off that much, off that much, off that much, and I'm going to check it out and measure and measure and make sure everything looks good. And when it looks good, I'm going to keep drawing a line the distance between the center of the two stones over and over and over and over and over and over until I have 19 by 19. And then I'm going to trace them out with a pencil and uh, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll work and it'll look good. Um, so this is what I'm going to do and uh, next video I'll be back with uh, the pencil marks and hopefully I get it all just right and, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. Hey guys, this is Aduda2 and uh, continuing my making a Goban series, obviously. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about um, putting on the lines, uh, at least the outline of the lines. Um, there are a couple methods. Um, what I, what, as you could see, I have uh, two dark lines, uh, dead center of the board, and then as you zoom in, you can see I have other lines uh, put on uh, the, the layout. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys how I did that. Um, basically, what I did was I used a compass. Um, got this ingenious idea, I just saw this laying around and I thought this is one heck of a great way to uh, put on lines on a board. And basically how it works is you figure out the distance uh, of the stones that you want, right? And then you put it pencil to pencil, and then what you do is you insert your pencil. Let's see if I can do this here. Insert your pencil. Say you want, um, I don't know. Seven eighths distance, you measure, and then you go from your line, probably up top, and you put a mark, and then you go on that line, and you put a mark, and on that line, and you put a mark, and that line, and you put a mark, and this way you could uh, mark it out with marks. Now, what you want to do is put your ruler from mark to mark, clamp it down if you don't think you can hold it steady, and then draw your lines. Um, what this what this did was, uh, what I did was, because I wanted to go off the center, because my board is not uh, perfectly square or even perfectly rectangle, right? I'm not a perfect carpenter, and uh, the sides kind of do one of these just slightly, but enough. Um, so I, I didn't want to measure off the sides, so I, I measured dead center. Uh, as you'll see at the end, uh, when I'm done, uh, the borders are going to be a little thicker on one side, etc. But it'll be really close and hard to tell, hopefully in theory unless you're really looking so hopefully it won't be too harsh critics on me but basically what the pencil did was all it, the pencil did was mark out um, the uh, the wood stain it just kind of put a little crease inside the wood stain so it didn't um, shall we say make pencil marks a lot of this uh, some of this is just uh, wood stain but um, I got a couple people telling me that uh, burning with a wood burner is difficult and it's hard to get a good line. Well, I got lucky. I got some really good lines here. But you, he, you know, you're right. Um, uh, you know, burning with a wood burner is probably, I mean, really difficult, and I'm gonna screw up some lines. So I got to thinking. Um, well, I did. I did this. These two wood burn just because I wanted a secure, solid line to base everything off of. I didn't want to screw that up. But um, I'm thinking I can get the same result with any sharp uh, instrument, maybe a, a knife or something. I really want the indents. I don't want to just put the ink on top, okay? Because I could just wash off over time. I want some type of indents. I really like that in a board, and that's something I'm not going to compromise on. But instead of a wood burner, what I'm going to try, and we'll see how it works, 
is I'm going to go over these pencil marks with a knife, um, preferably a thicker blade so I can get a nice thick line. And then, um, because I got all these marks and when I erase, it, it doesn't erase very well. So once I get these lines nice and deep, I'm going to do another coat of wood stain over the lines, right? And hopefully uh, I'll still be able to make up the lines. And then that'll cover any mess ups, any imperfections or me going too far. And then I'm going to take an even thicker blade and I'm going to dig, I'm going to go over the lines one more time, dig out the wood stain, right? Uh, and this way I, I could take my time and be real neat about it. And once I dig out the wood stain, then I can go in with my paint uh, marker. And I was also thinking we could do any color here, paint marker. We could do gold, we could do black, we could do dark blue, red. Uh, we, we could really be creative with the lines. So uh, I'll leave that up to you if you guys have any suggestions. Uh, I'm willing to try. But uh, as of right now, I have a black paint marker, and that's what I'm going with. But I think gold would probably look pretty fancy, right, or something like that. I don't even know if they make a gold paint marker. But that's really how I did it. I just uh, used a compass. And really, if you want, you can take two stones, put the stones next to each other, get the distance that you want, center stones if they're going to be touching, if you want a little space, right, and you could do that. And as long as you start in the center, you'll have an equal amount of space on the sides, so you can do that. Um, compass, number one friend, that's a good way to do it. Or you could uh, from, print a template of the size that you like, and then, uh, you know, do your compass like that. Uh, you know, get your measurement, and as long as it stays the same, everything will end up really good. So, I'm glad I was able to kind of figure that out. It makes things a lot easier. But that's about it. Um, next video, hopefully, I'll have these lines uh, creased deep with a knife. And uh, if it's worth showing you, I'll show you. Otherwise, what I'll do is I'll crease, crease them really deep with a knife, and then I'll um, put a coat of... Uh, you know, wood stain on it to cover up all these imperfections and mess ups that I did. And then uh, I'll dig out the lines and I'll show you that process before I put on the um, paint marker. Once again, uh, you guys have been really helpful with your uh, critiques, criticisms, and compliments and comments and advice on making the go board. So I'm hoping another level of wood stain will fix some of these imperfections that uh, don't really look the best. And hopefully it'll fix, uh, you know, my mess ups on, you know, and the pencil marks and all of that will hopefully be covered. So that's about it for this video. Um, I'm going to throw up this video and uh, start working on uh, making these lines a little bigger. Uh, if the knife works, I'm going to go with the knife over the wood burner. But if it doesn't, I'm going to patiently wood burn all of this stuff. So um, wish me luck on the knife uh, method. That's about it. I'll see you guys, sorry about the short video, I'll see you guys uh, as soon as I get this done, I'll film another video for you guys. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.